All right, today I'm gonna teach you the three ways to downshift. First, I'm gonna teach you how to rev match, then how to double clutch, then how to heel toe. Now, all these things are things that you can use in your day-to-day -day driving. Uh, heel towing is more of an advanced kind of race car technique, but I use it anyways. I think it's fun, and I think you will like it too. All right, so let's get started. All right, so foot cam is on. Let's get the car going. All right, cool. So, first things first, rev matching. Let's start driving and then we can talk about rev matching. All rev matching is, is pushing the clutch in, giving it some gas to make sure that you kick up the revs and putting it in the lower gear. That's it. All right, so now that we're cruising, we're in fourth gear right now. So this is a rev match. You just clutch in, flip the gas and put it to a lower gear. That's it, very easy. Now, it's kind of hard to figure out exactly where the revs need to be. That's the hardest part about rev matching, but play around with it, you'll figure it out. The way I taught Josh how to do this, I just told him to push the clutch in, kick the gas a certain number of times, maybe only once or twice for just one gear down, or maybe even two or three times for two gears down. But for now, if you're in fourth gear, just put in third. If you're in fifth gear, put in fourth and just you know, it's pretty easy. You kind of just have to get used to it and just go for it. Let's do another set of rev matches. So I'm in sixth gear right now. So clutch in, rev it, and then put it into fifth. And now clutch in, rev it, fourth. And now here's a trick with rev matching. The thing about rev matching is you don't want to release the clutch right as they're revving up or else you'll lurch the car forward and it's really gonna hurt. So once they kick up and they kind of stop, then you can release the clutch. Clutch in, lower gear, and then you're good. Easy. Next, double clutching. Double clutching is a little weird. Um, you don't really need to do it in cars with synchro mesh gearboxes, but it definitely helps if you really need to pass someone immediately on the freeway. So let's say someone's doing 50 miles an hour in a 65 zone, right? And finally a spot opens up for you to pull past them. Well, if you floor it in like fifth or sixth gear, nothing really happens. So you need to get it to a lower gear. Sometimes even fourth won't do it. So let's say you're in sixth gear and you need to put it in third. What do you do? So this is it. It's kind of the same as rev matching. Instead of pushing the clutch in and revving it while your clutch is in, you actually rev it while the car is in neutral. Now, what this allows you to do is effectively turn your downshift into an upshift. Sounds pretty weird. So what I mean by that is when you're upshifting like this, the revs drop. And as they drop, you catch the next gear. Now what a double clutch does is it over revs. So you rev it higher than it should be in neutral. That way when you push the clutch in, select the gear you want, you can just dump the clutch and get back on the gas as if you were doing a fast upshift. So I'm in fifth gear right now. So if I want to put it into third, I would clutch in, put it in neutral, rev it in neutral, clutch back in, and once I'm in third gear, I dump the clutch and go. Watch. See, easy as that. Now that definitely helps because I was only doing about 50 miles an hour right there. And don't worry, the speed limit is 55. But if I floored in fifth, watch what happens. It sounds really loud, but I don't really go anywhere. That was maybe three miles an hour. Now, my car is kind of slow, I must admit. But regardless what car you're in, if you're in the top gear at 50 miles an hour, it's not gonna be very fast. So third gear. There we go. All right, so that's a double clutch. All right, last thing, race car shifting. Well, not really, it's just heel toes. Now heel toes, you can actually use a lot in your day-to-day -day driving. If the person in front of you suddenly slows down and you got to shift down gears, it's easier to put it in the next gear instead of dropping it to neutral, trying to get back in gear 
that's also safer too. Now, what the heck is a heel toe? Well, we have two feet as humans, most of us at least, and we have three pedals in a manual car. So how do we get on the brakes hard and still downshift? You need to blip the revs, heel toes. As you're braking, you move your right foot forward, or over, I should say, and hit the gas. So, let me find a corner and do this. It's exactly the same as a rev match, except you're decelerating and you're using all three pedals. All right, so I'm doing 55 miles an hour right now and there's a 25 mile an hour corner up. So, I don't wanna have to put it in neutral and then drop it down a third. I can do this. So heel toes, again, like I was saying, why do you need them? Because, let's face it, you don't want to be in neutral while you're driving. If I'm in neutral like this, well, okay, so now I have to rev it back up to get in gear. I have to do all that stuff. I have no power, so if I stomp on it, nothing happens. You really don't ever want to be in neutral while you're actually driving. And to avoid this, we heel toe. While braking into a corner, you want to be able to accelerate out. How do we do that? Heel toes. We're able to get down to the right gear and accelerate out. Guess what? Know what else happens when you heel toe? Engine braking. Now engine braking is huge in a manual because with engine braking, you don't have to put quite as much stress on your brakes, they don't overheat as fast, and you can actually use your engine to help you slow down. Now this only works if we heel toe. So, I see a corner coming up downshift to fifth, normal rev match, and then downshift to fourth, on the brakes, heel toe, there we go. Simple as that, right? Let's do some more heel toes. All right, let's heel toe all the way down to first gear. Did it. You guys have a great day. Please make sure to like, comment, subscribe, share this video to get more people driving properly. Be a race car driver, I guess. All right, guys. Take care.